How soon after labor did you have sex? Were you guys trying for a bit to conceive Ren or did it just happen? Wedding date. Favorite sex position. That was the first time having sex after delivery. Would you have kids again? No, don't do that. I'm joking. We're trying to set the mood. I'm setting the mood. Damn. Damn. Stop. Hey guys, so today we are doing an after dark Q&A. We just filmed a video wrapping our daughter's presents and now we're filming a video about... How we made her. <laughs> that was a good one. If you're family watching this, maybe you should skip this video because we are gonna get into it, the details, okay? No holding back, all right? The first question is, would you have kids again? I guess we're gonna start off simple here. We're gonna start off easy. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Were you guys trying for a bit, were you trying for a bit to conceive? No. Right? <laughs> No, not at all. Sorry, honey. When you watch this when you're older. It just happened like really quickly. Maybe we'll get into it. Maybe there's other questions. How soon after labor did you have sex? I think we waited that full six yeah. week window when they tell you not to. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I had absolutely no desire because I tore inside and out and the thought of like, I just wanted to make sure that from a doctor's perspective, like I wanted him to take a look and see and tell me, just get that clarification, the clearance to go and do that but i'm pretty sure right after our my appointment that night i think we did yeah. that or like yeah no i think it was that night yeah. what's the most fun thing about being parents like today coming home from work and you opening the door and you're holding her and she was so excited to see me yeah she was, she was uh, so happy to see she's me. waiting for him to get out of his truck yep. and she was banging on the window i get excited about life more now that she's in it. That was the first time having sex after delivery. I remember the doctor told me that since I did have stitches inside that there would kind of be some scar tissue so it might be hard. So it, it would take like some massaging, I guess, of it to loosen up like any scar. The scars I have for my breast reduction, I had to like massage them. And it was just kind of a weird feeling at first. Like it didn't, it didn't feel the same. I'm sure it was fine on your end. No. Do you guys know or remember the day Ren was conceived? Yeah. It's so. <laughs> It's so do you know what position? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's totally a guy question. I've talked about that before. Like way To who? I remember this guy at a party. It was like a family, it was a New Year's party where we were all drinking and he was just like because he had just had a kid. Mm hmm And he was like, you gotta do it like this and you gotta let it marinate. What's this? What's that this part? You gotta do it doggy style. You gotta hold it. Oh. You, you, the guy has to hold it. You gotta hold it in there. Oh. Yeah. I don't recall doing that. Uh, I remember. Yeah, we remember the night. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like every little detail. No. I mean, no, me either. I just remember the position. Mm-hmm. Okay. Should we say it? I don't know. I'm not putting that in there because people are gonna think we're weirdos. Okay. That is not. That is juicy. Are you planning baby number two yet? Yeah, starting. Yeah, we You're have. Starting, to, right? We're not trying right now. No. But we have things that we want. You're rubbing your eye like that. Is it itch? <laughs> I don't. There's things. You have any I know it just itches. Tell me you're gonna rub your eye before I start oh. talking. So there's a couple things that we want to do and achieve before having another baby, like one of them being um, buying a bigger house, and the other one we want to get an SUV because we need more room for another baby. So a lot of it is just kind of, I guess, materialistic things mm, that we I mean, we don't need, need a bigger car like ASAP. That's not an requirement. Yeah, it's not a big. Uh, that's a not bigger a big place. Deal. Yeah. So how has having a baby changed your dates, having special time to yourself, and sharing space? We have a lot of help. We have my dad and my stepmom. Your parents are down the street. My mom and stepfather down the street. Our whole family is all like literally within like a couple miles. And they are literally like obsessed with her. <laughs> like it's it's awesome having so much family. Um, we do have a lot of help if we need it, but most of the time, yeah, she's with us for all the special things now and dates. I don't think I'd want it like any other way. Next question is favorite sex position. The one we conceived in. <laughs> Cowgirl? Yeah, it's just cowboy, brown cowboy. Cowboy? Cowgirl, is that what it's called? Yeah. 
Because then the other one is reverse cowgirl. Yeah, yep, yep. Cowgirl? Why do you ask it like that? Yeah, it's a cowgirl. cowgirl. It is. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? My favorite position is probably doggy style. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, you've noticed. <laughs> Hardest part about wedding planning. We wouldn't know because we haven't started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite memory together? Well, you don't even have a memory of Ren being born because... Yes, I do. You were so out of it. Yes, I do. I can remember her... You only remember like after you got the epidurals, it was like the very end. No, I remember all of the pain. Going on vacation, or going to like Mexico. Yeah. Is burp? Yeah. <laughs> Too much beer. What's your love language for both of you? Love. My love language is definitely physical touch and probably words of affirmation. Acts of service, quality time. How has parents made you both grow as people? It's made me have a reason to get up every day. I mean like anything that's a struggle um, should make you grow in life. Mm -hmm. um, anything that's any kind of hardship, uh, teaches you the lessons that move you forward as a person so you know uh, you don't get anywhere by taking the easy route you know and that goes the same thing with being parents you know? yeah yeah so how has the, the first, first year, year been as a parent so far and did this change your relationship as a couple um i feel like it's been a little bit different than maybe people who had their babies before a pandemic, like raised kids before a pandemic, I feel like it's been hard because we haven't been able to see most of our family. Um, so they feel, I feel like they've kind of missed out on the, her first year of her life. Yeah. Um, as for, did this change your relationship as a couple? Absolutely. Yeah. You gotta find um, common ground with like parenting and that's yeah. definitely hard because we've grown up two different lives. Our parents were different raising us, so we yeah. have to just kind of meet in the middle and figure out common ground. It's hard. You gotta bend yourself before the world bends you. You're, you're yeah. saying all these quotes. It, it would be abnormal for something life-changing like that, like having mm -hmm. a child, to not change you as a person. Yeah. If you're in the same place, then you're doing something wrong. So, I mean, like I said, bend yourself a little before life bends you. Our camera died. I went into the room to grab my other battery and I looked at myself in the mirror mm -hmm. and I had freaking line from my lipstick the whole time. Why don't you tell me? Describe your dream wedding. Where would it be and uh, what season and can I come? Of course you can of come. Of course you can come. She lives in Connecticut, of course you can come. Hell yeah, you can then. My dream wedding. Um, well, I definitely want to get married in the fall time um, because I don't want to sweat. Where would it be? I probably like at a barn type farm thing, um, which is funny because like I'm not like a country girl or anything like that, but I just love like that type of like rustic uh, vibe, so. It's her aesthetic. <laughs> wedding date. I don't At know. At this point, yeah. We had it planned out where it possibly, was it 2021? Where it would fall on our anniversary, which is October yeah. 2nd, and it would be a Saturday. So I think that this, it's this coming year. But I don't think with the pandemic, I don't know where we'll be from then. And I also, like, I'm really in no rush, so I don't know about you. How's life being a full-time mommy? Well, not until recently have I been um, a full-time mom, being a stay-at-home mom, but I am now working from home, I guess you could say. I quit my job and I am doing things from home. I'm doing YouTube, I have my shop. It's been so much fun being able to just have more time with her and just have like a routine. Like in the morning, she wakes up, we'll cuddle for a little bit and then we'll get up. I'll get her breakfast and then I'll do the dishes while she's eating breakfast normally. And then we'll go, she'll have like a bottle and we'll watch some cartoons and Today I gave her a bath. Like, it's just so much fun to be able to have that time with her. I'm excited to be home with her more. It shows in her development. You think so? Yeah, I mean, the doctor said she was like, yeah, really advanced, you know. Every parent says their kid's advanced. Yeah, kids are, kids so are smart. smart. They are so smart. And I do believe that. And like, I, I genuinely was saying, like, I feel like she's advanced for her age. You know, something was like, I don't know, just the way that she, I don't know, like, yeah. I just, I'm like, isn't she a little bit young to know how to do this stuff? When I took her to her last doctor's appointment, at her wellness visits, they give her a book, and so she took the book and it had a babies on it, and she just kissed the book, and the doctor was like, I have never seen a kid do that. She was checking her ears, and Ren was like turning her ear for her. She's like, 
this I this is the first I've never seen a kid do that and I'm just like really I just I don't know it just makes you feel good as a parent I was very proud of her after her all, all children are smart and then that's that's and when I told you didn't you cry a little yeah <laughs> it was a very proud dad moment yeah hardest part of parenting seeing your child get hurt <laughs> is the hardest thing am I gonna get philosophical again okay tell us another quote you have this is this is a quote from a wise man. <laughs> this is something like my father from my father actually. It's only hard if you're not in love. So no, I won't find anything difficult. Oh, okay. So I'm not in love with our daughter is what you're saying. That's not true. That's what you're saying. Those are all the questions that we are going to answer in this Q and A, this after dark Q and A. If you enjoyed, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you around. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you guys in, in our, our next video. video.